Welcome to my channel, Rumble Canada. I've got a good mod for the stock barrel here in the Crossman DPMS SBR, R1, and MPW. So if you're not going to swap out the barrel anytime soon, this is a good mod. It's going to make it more rigid and better than stock. And this mod is so easy and inexpensive that all you're going to need is five C-clips. That's it. Personally, I don't like the way the barrel is mounted inside the Crossman DPMS. So I'm going to show you here. This is all stock and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how this is moving around inside here like this, right? What I don't like about the stock barrel is how easy it flips around inside here. It's only held in by a little plastic piece. If you look here, this one's got, this one's got screws in it still, but if you look here, it's flimsy flopping around inside there. That's not a good way to secure the barrel inside here at all. If you look at mine here, you'll notice mine's not even moving. And in fact, it's not coming apart and there's no screws. And that's because the five C clips are actually allowing this to clamp nice and tight inside here. So here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's so tight <laughs> that it's even hard to break apart. Okay, I got it. Here's what I did. I just put five C-clips on the stock barrel. This C-clip here measures in at 12 millimeters across with a six millimeter inside diameter. This barrel here is pretty much six millimeters. So all you're gonna do is just take these C-clips and push them on. And I'll just show you here like this. So all you're basically gonna do is put the C-clips on, all five of them, and then once you've got them in place, all you're gonna have to do is just put this back in place and line it up. Now what you're gonna feel inside this rubber grommet here is the barrel butt up against it. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like this. It's just held in by the rubber grommet here and a plastic piece at the muzzle. And what'll eventually happen is as this gets worn down, this barrel can potentially move back and forth, up and down, it's gonna hold at the front but it's gonna start wearing down, moving it around, and it could even start moving in this way once this starts to wear out. It'll start to vibrate in here. And some have noticed that they've got dings and dents at the bottom, and that could be attributed to this bouncing around inside here. So what we're gonna do is just make the barrel more rigid inside um, the metal tube, and just so that nothing is bouncing around and everything is nice and secure. And that's all we're doing. We're just making the rifle better than stock with this simple little mod. Also, here's something to note that I did too. Um, I took um, the barrel itself, I actually machined um, a little bit off using the drill like this, put this in and then just used a file, cut it down a little bit. So that's another way to improve this even better. Um, but for the most part, this is gonna be way better than stock. So I'd highly recommend this because it's an easy mod. It shouldn't move around anymore inside this piece. Okay, so I've got another quick little tip for you here. When you're setting up everything to make sure that it all fits back in place after you put your C-clips in, what I do is I just knock out the center plastic piece that's inside here. I put the plastic piece back on the barrel first. And then what I do is I just slide this back in and make sure it butts up close to the edge. If it's not right up against there, that means you'll have to take it out and move your C-clips a little bit more. And then just to make sure everything is finished, when you put it back in, make sure everything lines back up and you're good to go. You'll notice everything kind of just moved in place perfectly. You can see the barrel is where it needs to be inside here again. And we're back to stock. I hope you like that mod. Share, like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.